Tyler Hazelwood woke up one Sunday morning to find all three of his dogs had encountered a porcupine and were stabbed with quills. On top of that, one of the lambs had a broken leg. There's no veterinary services around here with weekend and evening call out. So they just had to suffer, be in pain for a full 24 hours till I could take them to the vet the next Monday morning. Pet and livestock owners have to transport their sick or injured animals to Saskatoon for care after hours. Park Range was the last vet clinic to stop after hour care. Peter Serkin says a shortage of veterinarians is affecting animal welfare. You know, some of it's agricultural and it's an economic thing. Um, a huge part is an animal welfare uh, issue. Uh, not having enough vets to actually do the farm calls that we used to be able to do. He wants the Ministry of Advanced Education to expand its loan forgiveness program to include smaller urban centers. Right now it only includes communities with less than 10,000 people. The program repays 20% of Saskatchewan student loan debt as incentive. But also they should be forgiving if an Alberta or a, a British Columbia or a Manitoba student wants to practice in our area. It's not going to cost very much. They'll get that money back in taxes very, very quickly. The province told CTV News it continues to work with stakeholders to address the labour market need. The Western College of Veterinary Medicine says mentorship programs with the Ministry of Agriculture and Cattlemen's Association have helped attract vets to rural areas. But studies show while 40 to 50 percent of students do start out in rural areas, they soon leave. There is this situation where you know, people will follow the economics and so some of the salaries that can be offered in an urban centre are higher than those that can be matched in a rural area. The Western College of Veterinary Medicine says it's increased student seats from 78 to 88 to help with the shortage of vets. The college is also the only place in Canada allowing recent immigrants to write Canadian accreditation exams. Lisa Rizom, CTV News, Prince Albert.